Hi fans of high quality entertainment. It has been a few weeks since you've been in jail. And so I thought it would be fun to throw you in jail for one year. And you can only listen to one of these two stacks of CDs. And yes, you can exchange one CD from the pile that you don't choose onto your pile. Just switch them. And as always, I try and make the, the stacks even, and usually I fail. There's always one stack that's more popular than the other one, but I, I try and compare the two artists for each of the CDs, you know, kind of similar in some way. Uh, for instance, there's a kind of a crazy album on each stack, and there's also a five CD box set in each stack, so it's more than 12 CDs. And as always, please follow the rules. You know me, I'm a stickler to, for rules. Put which stack at the very beginning of your comment, and then leave the rest of the comment. Otherwise, I'm not going to, when I add them up, I'm, not, I'm just going to ignore your, your, your choice. If it's, you know, in the middle of your comment. Don't get me mad. Yeah, and I'll, I'll pin... You know, for the next few days, I'll pin which stack is in the lead. And at the, don't don't skip ahead, no. But at the end of this video, I'll, I'll be showing you the two stacks. So stack one includes, and these, there's some newer CDs that I've never shown before in one of these stacks videos. Stack one includes Neil Young, After the Gold Rush, Midnight Oil, 10 to 1, or 10987654321, Uriah Heep, Demons and Wizards, Motorhead, Inferno. Steppenwolf 7. Probably my favorite Steppenwolf album now, since I bought the box set. But early Steppenwolf is so, so underrated. I don't know if you've ever heard of this band. Uh, they're from the 60s. The Kinks. Something else. Uh, once again, I feel this is a very underrated album uh, from Frank Zappa. If you, if you had it in the past, you know, when this came out, I was kind of, I thought it was just okay. But through the years, I've played it, and I think it's very underrated. It is Frank Zappa, The Man from Utopia. Also, uh, Ship Arriving Too Late to Save a Drowning Witch is underrated, in my opinion. And you get a double disc, Greatest Hits. In each stack, in stack one, is the essential Paul Revere and the Raiders. I don't know if you can read that. Now, the weird CD in stack one is the Residence Duck Stack. I love it, <laughs> and I do want to still get more resident CDs. This was gifted to me, thank you. Some of these were gifted to me. One of the greatest albums ever. One of my favorites. Gene Clark, no other. And I do have the deluxe version, but you're just getting the single disc. Because you've been a bad boy, and you're in jail. Talking Heads, 77. Comes with a DVD, but you won't be able to play it in jail. I'm sorry. And the five disc original album classics for stack one is Mott the Hoople. You get all those albums. What comes after stack one? That's right, stack two. It starts with, this album is so good. If you haven't listened to this artist in a while, 
give his latest his late, latest album his later albums are really good and I've got right now 19 of them this is his latest the boy named if Elvis Costello and the imposters the clash combat rock from my uh, from my new Clash box set. If you haven't seen that unboxing, it's in my Rock Music Vlogs playlist. Caravan. Uh, for girls who grow plump in the night. Black Sabbath, Paranoid, and I just uploaded a video on my ASMR channel talking about my whole Black Sabbath discography and a couple of box sets I have, so please check that out. Spooky Tooth, Spooky Two, from the box set I have. You're not getting the mirror that was stuck inside it, no. Mm -hmm. uh, Creedence Clearwater Revival live at Woodstock and there's a documentary on uh, Creedence Clearwater Revival at the Royal Albert Hall it's on, it's on Netflix and it's excellent Kate Bush Hounds of Love Double Disc Greatest Hits. This time it's The Rascals, The Complete Singles, A's and B's. And Pop Goes the 60s has an excellent new uh, interview with Felix Cavallari. I don't know how you pronounce it. I should, have, I should have checked. But the awesome lead singer, or one of the singers for The Rascals. It's almost a one-hour interview with him, and it is really good. So check that out. That's Felix right there. Crazy one on in stack number two. Captain Beefheart and the Magic Band dock at the radar station. And this one, I've only played it once when I bought it. And I really enjoyed it. I just haven't... I have to play it again. Because it's way better than I thought it would be. It's the very first album that was never released by Elton John. If you want to pause that to read it. Yeah, it's really good. The Faces. A nod is as good as a wink to a blind horse. And... Stack number two has a five classic albums uh, box set two, and it is Traffic, which was gifted to me. Thank you. And there's all the albums on it. So now I have to make my decision. Okay. Well, that was easy for me. I'm going to choose stack one, and I definitely want to take uh, Captain Beefheart out of stack two, so I'll take out... Hmm. I'm going to take out Neil Young after the Gold Rush. It's a great album, but I can do without it for a year, because I've heard it quite a lot, and I always play this. So... Yeah, very interested in your choices. I'm hoping it's a little <laughs> more even this time. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.